Hello, everyone. I am back once again for the final uh, review of the Halloween uh, figure reviews. This time with the NECA Ultimate Halloween Ends Michael Myers. Now, yes, this figure was kind of in a long time coming. Um, but before we move on to a sort of a biography, let's move on to the box. Um, which basically is just your average Halloween, uh, which is basically just takes the same notes as the rest of the other, uh, NECA Halloween figures where they just have the poster of the fig, a poster of the movie on the side, Halloween ends, let's move it over here, on the other side, Halloween ends, on the top, Halloween ends, on the bottom, UPCs and everything, and at the back, we do get a little bit of a read-up of the movie right there. Pause to read here. And of course, he has the pumpkin, knives, interchangeable head and hands. And of course, um, it's your ultimate style NECA packaging. So he's going to have an opening flap, the figure on the front. The, well, just one photo of the figure on the front, and then the figure itself there. So, uh, biography time. All right. So, if you remember correctly, I actually did a, I did say in my um, NECA Ultimate My Bloody Valentine uh, uh, minor figure that I was editing the review on the NECA Halloween Ends of Michael Myers. However, I just didn't have enough time to really do it. So, unfortunately, yeah, I have to... It went from trying to be released during like during January to, like, October. So, yeah. You can tell I was very lazy. But I figured it's the perfect time to make a new review during the spirit of Halloween. And because October is slowly about to end, which I'll admit this year, this uh, this month ended really, really quickly... But anyways, yes. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I want to say. But other than that, um, yeah, that it was supposed to come out during January. But then I just couldn't get it out because I was just super, super lazy. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, this figure was also kind of just in a long time coming ever since Halloween Ends release. A lot of people I've seen on um, like YouTube and TikTok have been trying to customize this guy right here, the Halloween Kills Michael, and turn him into a Halloween Ends Michael. I was tempted to even buy a bootleg um, NECA Halloween 2018 Michael or bootleg Halloween Kills Michael and then just strip him for parts to make a Halloween, end, or Hall a Halloween Ends Michael. But of course, NECA released photos uh, during uh, July of 2023, and boom, the figure was released. I got it during Christmas time. I opened it during Christmas, ironically enough, because this is a Halloween-related figure. So, yeah. Um, anyways, enough of that. Is this figure worth buying, despite the movie, despite, you know, everyone's opinion on the movie? Well... Uh, let's start off with the painting and the sculpting, and then we'll move on from there. So, for the painting and the sculpting, I gotta say, the painting and the sculpting on this figure is really good. And you could argue it's definitely the best of all the Blum among the Blumhouse trilogy of Michaels. Um, and yeah, although there are a little bit of a little bit flaws. So, as soon as I get the lights ready, starting off with... The head. The head is very nicely sculpted. Um, it is a little bit smaller in comparison to the kills, Michael, but it is very well done. Although, at the same time, it feels like there's barely any difference. Um, as you see, there is a lot of molding. However, I do feel like the whole, like, the aging part of the mask isn't really present per se um you have to like really really look and see and it's kind of hard 
Hell, you could argue this looks straight up just like a regular Halloween Kills mask, just much more damaged. See, there's the blood on the cheek, the damage onto the side of the mask. It's very nicely well done. I think more the aging effect is on the hair, which you could kind of see a little bit on camera, a little bit of white specks. I'm assuming that's like the moss and the mold. Um, I don't know about that. But overall, I really love the sculpt on this guy. I love the moisturized look to him. Very nice. Very nicely well done. And then I love the fact that even though this is the same jumpsuit, they actually made it different, of course. They made some new sculpts. Um, I'm going to bring a few of the other Michaels in co for comparison, but in comparison... Um, to the kills Michael there is a lot more battle damage as you can see as you can see there's a lot more battle damage on the on the left side of the shoulder right side of the shoulder as you see there is a lot you can see the arm is still gashed but not to the most brutal extent and yeah there's a lot more scarring and a lot more injuries here you can even see at the back i think yeah the prongs that karen stabbed michael with back in halloween kills so oh, so overall the detail on this figure is pretty good you know just really really good it's not your usual you know michael fit it's not like the others in per se it's very damaged and even more very nicely too the moss and the molding, the molding isn't actually, like, painted on. It's actually sculpted. If you could see it on camera, there is a little bit of molding on the arm, on the shoulders, on a little bit on this arm, too. And instead, it's actually a very nicely sculpted in mold. And it's very good. That's very good because, like, at least they didn't, like, half ass it. They didn't, like, barely put any effort to it, so that's very good. Again, there's a lot of details and even some painted or even some sculpted and molding here on this crotch. However, the transition between these two is a bit jarring. Compare it to the Halloween 2018 or the Halloween Kills Michael or, hell, even something like Halloween 2. It's, it's a little bit jarring. It's a lot more noticeable here. You get a lot more noticeable that this isn't just one whole jumpsuit. This isn't just one whole piece. It's like two pieces. But yeah, see? More sculpting down here. Very nicely well done. Really love as well the dirty effect on the boots and on the knees. And again, more molding. So yeah, it's very good. And then moving on to his battle damaged hand that he got from Halloween 2018. It's... To my knowledge, very much kind of brand new, well, slash slightly remolded. If you remember in 2018 or in the Halloween, um, or in the Halloween, uh, 2018 figure, sorry, as you mentioned, the as I mentioned the Halloween 2018 figure, there's a lot more bone detail here, but as you could see, it has kind of grown. It's kind of been like burned and singed a little bit which is very nicely well done. Not so much the same effect on the hand, although I really love the sort of dryness of his hands, the dry blood and everything. And yeah, overall, it's a very nicely well sculpted figure. You know, for I think, what is this? $30 US, $40 Canadian, $50 Canadian. This is really good. The painting, again, the sculpting is very good. I really love the fact you see the bullet holes. I love the mask and everything. Um, but there are just some minor things, um, like for example, this side, I don't know why this does not look as bad as let's say the Halloween Kills figure, which this side is just completely burned. But yeah, overall, despite all that, it's very good. I love the detail on the arms. I love the overall jumpsuit design. I just love how it looks. And despite the fact this is the same mold as the 2018 and the kills and everything, it's very nicely well done. There's nothing really to say here. I mean, it's a very good figure. NECA always carries in terms of their um, detailing. 
Now, uh, let's go over the accessories. All right. Now, for accessories, he does come with not as much compared to kills or especially 2018. But he has at least a decent amount. And judging by the by his... And, of course, since he didn't really appear too much in his own... In the movie, it's a pretty understandable set of accessories. So, starting off with the head. Very... I think this is, for me, so much better. Like, look... Although, in my opinion... It is a little bit smaller, if you know what I mean. I'll do a head swap right now after this uh, detailing section, but yeah, this is much more like it. More damage to the neck, more burn, much more burn, more aging. This is so much better than the head here, but although my main problem, and to simply just swap out the heads, of course, because it's a NECA figure or with any figure, just hair dry it, loosen the joints. And I'll admit, it's been a while since I've gotten these out of the shelf. But yeah, is it just me or does it look a little smaller on, on Michael? It looks a little small. Yeah, I don't know about that. I could see it more as maybe like a Corey figure, but I'll do a head swap with the Halloween 2 Michael. But yeah, and if you want it for a much more uh, deeper comparison, there you go. Uh, yeah, they look actually different, although, yeah, as you can see, one is so much smaller than the other, and one has the blacked out eyes, while the other has Michael's eyes peering through. Eh, overall, I still really like the head sculpts, they're still really good, and as for other accessories, I'm gonna go bring out my trusty, dusty other thing here, and yes, I have a tool kit. Um, for other accessories, he does come with a pair of hands. He does, besides the hands he currently on, has right now, I'll show on screen. He also has a fisted hand for his, a left fisted hand. This is meant specifically for just any knives or anything. Oop. So he does have this very nicely well done. Very nicely sculpted. He does have a gripping hand meant for his right shotgun blasted hand. And he does have this hand, which is basically what the Halloween Kills Michael has for the scene where he's holding the, um, the shamrock skeleton mask. So I don't know why he has this, because I don't know if they really fit. And I will uh, show it here. Hold on. I will show, and I, of course, to swap the hands, you simply just, and of course he has his regular hand right now, very nicely sculpted again. You simply just pop it off. Yes, be careful when you do this. And then you simply uh, pop it on right there. And he does have a few knives. I'll show them up on screen. But of course, if you want to fit the knife, he j there, it's just, you know, usual maybe hair dry it just for caution but overall it's the same knife so of course he has a bloody oh he has a bloody kitchen knife very nicely well done very nicely sculpted and i it's very nicely painted too and it, it just occurred to me that i feel like NECA has been improving their blood their blood knot or blood stained knives i don't know why it feels like they've been improving it of course there's the regular knife I mean, they're just regular knives, so it, these don't really matter as much as this. This is the rusted knife that he uses to kill Doug Mullaney in Halloween Ends. This is really cool. I really love the weathering detail on it. It looks almost golden at times, but I really love the rusted detail. I love that the handle as well is also rusting as well. I just, oof, I love it. And this is where I display the figure mostly with this hand, with this uh, knife, because it just looks very nice. And then the final accessory is this jack-o'-lantern. Very nicely well done. And you can open it to reveal, to reveal some very nice pumpkin innards. It's a very cool jack-o'-lantern. And a very, just very nice prop. 
So yeah, accessories is not as much as, you know, a lot of people wanted. But, I mean, I think it's a good amount, especially considering this guy doesn't really have a lot of screen time in the movie. So, yeah, overall, accessories is really good. Now, let's move on to the articulation. Now, since Michael's articulation is very much the same and hasn't been unchanged since, like, the very start of this mold in, like, 2018, you pretty much know what to expect. However... I will still go through for articulation for anyone who hasn't seen my reviews of the Halloween Kills or the Halloween 2018 review of the Halloween 2018 or the Halloween Kills NECA figure reviews that are going to be down in the description. I'll try and remember that. But anyway, uh, articulation wise, it's very good. Although I feel like it more or less borrows some elements of 2018 than with Kills and it's mainly in here. But anyways, for starters, he has a ball joint at the head. Well, not really. It's more like just a peg on a ball joint. So he can look up this far, he can look down this far, he can rotate, and of course it's Michael Myers, so he has to tilt and tilt, which is very nice. Arm goes 360, he has in and out, and he has a double jointed elbow, which is very nice. Same on the other side, although there's a lot more on this side. He has a forearm swivel, and he does have a hinge joint swivel system. And if you can, you can turn it down like this, or it can go back and forth, twist it. It can go up and down like that. Although be careful of that because it could break. And I know this from experience because of my 2018 figure as shown on screen right here. No waist swivel. There is a little bit of a thigh cut or a little bit of a diaphragm joint, a little bit of back. But honestly, it's not like Jason. And also, I really highly doubt that you could do it in a jumpsuit like Michael's. Like Michael Myers' jumpsuit. You can kick up this far. You can kick back this far. And as I mentioned before, he has a spread. But as you could see here, it's on these weird... I don't know what type of joints are these, but they're very different than that with kills. Now, if I have kills right here, you can see kills are on actual ball joints, but this ones are on 2018's ball joints. And same with Halloween 2, as shown right there. They're practically the same. So I don't know why NECA had to do that. Let me just wait for this to focus. There we go. I don't know why NECA had to use that specifically, but they did. Anyways, he does have a thigh swivel. He does have a single jointed knee. He has a swivel at the knee. And he has an ankle pivot that can go down. That far cannot really go that much up. He can pivot left and right. So overall, despite the fact that this guy should probably be like not as mobile, it's very good. The articulation is very nicely well done. And you know, is very good. It's very good. Obviously not as articulated as, let's say, Legends. But, you know, with a character like Michael Myers, you're not really expecting a lot. So, yeah, very nicely well done. Now let's move on to the size comparisons. So, this guy stands at almost roughly 7 to 7.5. Maybe around uh, 7.3 or 7.4, who knows. But for some other comparisons, here is the NECA Halloween Ends Michael compared to the NECA Dream Jason from Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Very, very good figure, not gonna lie. And uh, yeah, he's a little bit smaller, but honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Judging by it, there are, it just, it looks, he looks really a little bit small, so I don't know. And as for the other comparison, here he is compared to the Marvel Legends Venom, and I know why do you why do I have this guy? Well, uh, well, I, I think you know probably why. So yeah, there is all there's the proper head sculpt, but yeah, they're all very good. Um, again, and I'm gonna do some. I have some photos here. Yeah, they're practically they're practically just the same thing with just with of course some 
new detailing. Of course, more burn marks, more bullet wounds, and more molding. The head sculpts are where I want to talk about. This is the version one that I custom painted, and this is the regular Halloween kills. So, yeah, the heads are kind of small, per se. I think the biggest outlier here is definitely the kills michael as the kills michael has a much bigger head than any of these guys and as you can tell side by side and hell if you can tell them in on in the front as seen in this photo they're practically um it's practically really big which i think is actually the proper sizing of it but anyways uh one last comparison sorry this should be the second last comparison because here he is compared to the NECA Halloween 2 Michael. And of course, NECA Laurie Strode. They scale pretty nicely. So, yeah. Very nicely well done. And for one last comparison. Here is the NECA Halloween Ends Michael compared to your average 6-inch scale figure. The Marvel Legends What If Zombie Captain America. And because I've been showing off this guy, should he be my new mascot for a size comparison? Similar to like Unparalleled Universe or, you know, uh, not Steven Story Reviews, um, Anthony's Customs or Shardimus Prime? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, yeah, Michael scales really well, very well. So let's turn to my final thoughts. So overall, is this figure worth buying despite the movie's reputation? I'd actually argue yes. While in terms of ranking the figures, I would say maybe it would be Kills would be number one, then this figure, then 2018, then the Halloween 2 figure. I still think this figure is still worth it, even though I prefer Kills a lot more. The detailing is very well done, and the sculpting is very cool. And if you really, if you have the Halloween 2, Michael, you could argue you can make a full new Corey Cunningham figure with any of his heads. Um, yeah, despite, I still think it's a very good figure, and, if, and I'm going to go on a side note here. I don't think Halloween Ends is that bad. I like the ideas. I like the concept. I just don't think it's executed very well. To be real with you, I think if, you know, this was the ending for, if this was what Halloween 5 should have been, then yeah, I would have been all for that. You know, Jamie Lloyd as Mike, as the new Michael Myers, I would absolutely love that. But instead, it's just Michael in the worst looking mask in the worst movie ever, in my opinion. But yeah, overall, um, it's a great figure, and if you can, definitely buy it, especially especially for the, some of his accessories like the knife. Um, overall rate, in terms of my overall rating, I gotta give him at least maybe like an 8.1, 8 8.2 out of 10. A lot of good things here, maybe some drawbacks, but I think just in comparison to the other figures, it's, you know, that's why he kind of is ranked as the second best. But overall, definitely recommend getting it, even if you don't like the movie. <laughs> even if you don't like the movie, you can use this figure as a Corey Cunningham or as another Michael. And I have no idea what's the status for NECA making Halloween figures because they made, you know, this Michael, they made most of the blood, they made all the Blumhouse Michaels, they made Halloween 2, they made a Lori, they made a Dr. Loomis and Michael Myers 2 pack, but the status is pretty unknown whether or not they're going to do all the movies. Hell, I don't even know if they're even going to do 78 because its licensing rights is so confusing. So yeah, overall, I definitely get it. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. And, um... Yeah, that's it. That's all the Halloween reviews. So until then, I will see you guys next time. And by the time this will be premiered, it will probably be premiered on Halloween. So have a very happy Halloween. Bye-bye.